Hi, hello, my name is Ken Etigari. Now in this video I want to show you how to create maps by manipulating the Excel objects using um, what is called now oh, what's that? I forgot to let's see. Go to shapes, select an object. Now previously I had copied this from um, ArcGIS tool or it could be Google. So I want to turn this into something that Excel understands. I want to shape this in the form of a map. I put this over the map. I right click. Yeah, that's edit points. I go over to edit points. You can see these showing. I'm going to bring these things closer. The reason you bring this closer is so that th this is a kind of gradient, so bringing it closer ensures that it's not curve like I pull this in. Pull this in. Pull this in. So now the idea is to have as much points as this that we can manipulate. You do that by clicking on any point, right click, add point, you do the same, move the white dot closer, move the white dot closer, let's see, this one is hanging out, let it come closer, okay, click again, add point, there should be an easier way of doing this, but well, this is all I know for now. Then I move this. Mm. I'm going to zoom in. It's going to be easier for me to manipulate my Excel object. Oops. Mm. Okay, yep, much better. So if I want to follow the points exactly, I just keep on doing this. Ensure that this white is as close as possible to the black. Move this. Move this here. What's happened there? Okay, yep, that's why. Push this closer. Let's move up. Right click, add point, move the white closer, move the white closer to the black spot. Do this. I'll right click here, add point, move the white closer, move the white closer. And take this in here. You can gradually see the shape emerging, can't you? But let me do this. Come over here. You can do as, met, as many points as you want. Makes it very manual, easy for you to manipulate. Okay, so. I'm going to take this in. I thought I had moved this before. Okay, so I'm going to come here. Add point. Move this in. Move this in. Right. Do the same here. Soon I'm going to pause this video and show you the finished product. Come over here, add points, move this in, move this in. Going to come over here, add points, move this in, move this in. Mm -hmm. Come over here, add points, move this in, move 
this screen. Come over here. Oops, it's gone off. So I right click again. So it's gone off. Right click. Right click. Good point. Click on the point I want. Right click. Add point. Move this in. Move this in. Drop this there. Let's take this one down here. Let's take this one here. Okay, I'm going to pause still and show you the finished work. Right, I'm back. You can see I'm through with this. So, let me just quickly. Alright. Lots of points, right? Okay, I'm going to zoom in. Move this map here. There we go. So you can see this is now an Excel object. I can get rid of this one and have this here. Uh, in some other video I taught you how to use the hyperlink function. So I can come over here now and then go to hyperlink. Place in this document. So let me see. in this document uh, click on B4 yes, B is rather B10 B10 I come over to screen tip and over here Africa okay okay so when I over my mouse here, I see Africa. So I can do this for, I can create something like this for Europe, Asia, America, Australia, and uh, so on and so forth. I can also create little objects for the different countries in Africa. Uh, it's quite exciting, isn't it? Uh, there are lots of things you can do here. You can convert this to heat maps. You can have triggers where, in, for example, you click on this and it triggers a video code that shows you probably some data associated with this country, with this uh, continent. Uh, quite interesting, right? Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do join me for another video some other time. Thank you and bye-bye.